Previously on Sailing Cerebral. All hands on deck. Sam, Tia. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Nice hey, to meet you Alan. Nice to meet you, Sam. And Tia. Tia, what are we in for, Gerardo? Oh, adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so many ambiguous Fun. answers. Adventure, yes. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Welcome to my room. This is where I'm gonna be sleeping, and this is where I'm gonna be going to the bathroom. So this little tropical storm, Sally, that has been uh, causing us weather and issues has now turned into a hurricane. Our plan was to sail today, and so we're gonna sail today. Oh, that's a good point. Look at you, nature girl. <laughs> I wonder if that guy's actually catching anything. I wonder if we'll catch anything. It is my goal to catch a fish. Okay, then you're on gutting the fish duty because I, <laughs> I almost fell. I'm excited to get together just as a group and going out and exploring and finding all these new differences that weren't there, you know, two years ago, even I think just a year ago. So now uh, we're about to enter Tampa Bay. It's gonna get a little choppy because of the hurricane. So what I want you to do is stow your gear. You're gonna be surprised. Anything you think it's laying on a surface, it's safe. It is not. Someone get the wine. They're doing a great job. You know, this is quality service around here. I have been taking the position of sitting back and just watching and kind of leaning towards keeping my mouth shut and maybe holding my cards a little bit closer to the chest. How are we doing on moving forward? Is this we're doing where great. we're going? Are we going to that bridge? Is that my end goal? Um, yeah. The captain yeah. is really, really cool. I'm super down to earth, super willing to answer my a million questions because I ask him quite literally a million questions because I just want to know everything that's going on. Um, and I know that's irritating. How can I see shallow areas on this? I put it at six a yeah. few times and it hasn't stayed. Is there a way to make it stay? So there's no like, I guess, Autopilot? cruise control? No, is that exactly. not the nautical <laughs> term, <laughs> but I know me better than he knows me. I <laughs> jumped into trusting me very fast. He's also never seen me drive a car. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some a motor drill. There's a fender out there. And what we're gonna try to do is just use the engines. The wheel is now locked. So the rudders are locked in position and we're using one engine and the other. We wanna to touch that fender to the starboard sugar scoop. Sam, you're up. Oh no. I'm still having trouble believing that this is actually happening and I'm actually driving a catamaran. Not too well, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Practice. <laughs> And you can pulse it now. Stop, and the boat, will, the boat momentum will, or, or push it harder. <laughs> I switched. I switched. I wasn't pushing harder. Yeah, I was. We got a pretty solid crew. It seems like Sam and T have been crushing it. Sam, honestly, is a little behind the learning curve. That's why that's why we're here to support. <laughs> can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, a swing and a miss. But we're gonna be here for a little bit. We'll figure it out best part about both of them is that they're just fun people and it's e they're super easy to get along with so it's nice to just be they're fun just easy to hang out with which is really nice since we're going to be hanging out for such a long time that was oh god the i most, hit the, the boot and then i broke the boot <laughs> cool that was Woo! painless that nice job. everybody Woo. nice Boom. the next step is sailing We've got to raise the sails, use the wind to move the boat forward. And so we've got a couple sails and a lot of different lines and a lot of things they had to learn. Doing is better than talking about it. We're going to wrap it and it says the, the direction clockwise around here. One, two, three, up through here and around. And then it becomes electric. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, ah. <laughs> okay, Owen, when you see slack on this, yep. just take it up. Okay. Okay, go ahead and wrap it, Owen. Yep. Oh, maybe that's why it was so heavy. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Check that out. Something about tying ropes and pulling it and watching the sail go up just really connected me to my inner pirate. I am a little disappointed that the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song hasn't been played yet over the speakers. Welcome aboard, mateys. You're coming with me. All right, sail's up. All right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 Made it. 
we raised the sale and he showed us all of the lines and what their purposes were. I don't remember what half of the things are called that we use today, but I remember how to use them. So make a little, yeah, yeet. Whoop, he just pulled too hard. She seems a little younger, which she is. It makes a difference. I know when you get, when you get older, it, it all kind of comes together, but she does seem like the youngest one in the group. I think for many different reasons, but I'm kind of driving off of her excitement. Owen already knew how to tie a bite onto the safety line. And then he showed me and then I learned and I showed Tia and she learned and now we all know how to tie a bite. You see it, you do it, you teach it. The thing I worry about most is losing somebody. And the way I'm gonna lose somebody is they're going over. Uh, man over, man over, man over, man over. Man over. Start letting the robot, it's gonna drop pretty quickly. Don't, don't burn, just go towards Owen. Come Owen, on. we're coming Owen, I'm gonna save you. Owen, swim, oh, swim. swim. The man overboard drill is critically important and they need to know it. And everyone needs to respond in an appropriate manner. It's the key to not losing one of these three very lovely people, or even myself. The only boat that's gonna save us is this boat. So the first thing that is most critical is that someone recognizes that someone went overboard. Man ah, overboard! Man overboard! Man overboard! I am pointing, I am pointing. I had to point it the whole time while Tia turned the ship around. Now am I going toward the man? Yep. Drop the sails. Everyone else is orchestrating my rescue pretty much. Uh, that sail is down far enough. Owen, we're coming for Owen, you. Owen, I'm going to save Let's you. Let's bring him on this side. Honestly, wasn't even sure what I was doing. I thought I was going to run over the buoy, which was my immediate panic. Defeats the purpose of saving the man overboard if you run over the man overboard. Owen's a survivor. <laughs> oh, oh. Reach! <laughs> Ultimately, I saved Owen by reaching in with the hook and pulling him out of the water, and the captain performed CPR, and he was OK. He survived. I don't know what these guys did to me. They sent me with a bunch of teetotalers. Again, I, I'm a little concerned it's an intervention, but I'm not, I'm no quitter. I'm not quitting. Everybody knows that we can drink except for the captain. We're gonna keep it that way for a little while longer, I think. You know, we may clink glasses with him at some point. You know, pulling one over on him has is, is, uh, been a good start to this. You know why we're doing it? Because he is giving us the most ambiguous answers about everything we ask him, so we have to play some kind of prank on him. You know, I'm I'm still like uncertain about what the captain has planned for us, and so just this cloud of unknown is very unsettling for me. So that's probably where most of my anxieties come from. The but, most ambiguous responses to all of our questions. Yeah, and that's <laughs> like, just, I just hate that. <laughs> where are we going? Like someplace <laughs> fun. <laughs> So, Doc, and you'll notice that the marina is getting big in the uh, front view window, so uh, <laughs> we should talk about docking. Yeah. All we need to do is get lines ready and bumpers available for roving and hitting spots. And you want to put the lines on over the lifeline, okay? Gerard, how's this? That looks perfect, except that it's not over the, the lifelines. Oh, right. <laughs> the one rule. All right, so hopefully they're there to help us get in. We'll see. <laughs> so we're gonna back all the way in. Yeah, you can actually do is sit here and hold the wheel so that it doesn't move. And I'm gonna drive. What do we got, Owen? 15, 18, 20. Good. One number is good. <laughs> 45, 420. Your mind. <laughs> all right, put some bumpers yeah, down. Bumpers, bumpers, bumpers. Right bumpers. Nicely done. Today was a really good day. We had planned to show them a lot of things and it went surprisingly smooth. They're young. Uh, I love the energy. Uh, I love their excitement and their energy and what they bring. We're all just kind of working together as a team. It's really cool. Thank God. <laughs> Woo! Captain John!
see the finesse. Come out. Oh! <laughs> the next few days is more about uh, provisioning the boat for our journey. A little plundering, you know, pirate stuff. Mm -hmm. About to go provision this bitch. Get in, bitch. <laughs> We're going shopping. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> 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 I don't think they'll fill my bed. Cool. Right. To be fair, my bed came with three pillows. I had to go ahead and make an executive decision here. We got four little Nerf guns here. And all the ammo. Oh, Fully loaded. Mission success. <laughs> it's hard to learn a little bit about each other and becoming a team. Four hurricanes uh, currently <laughs> in the area and coming off Africa. Uh, so we're going to dodge some stuff. How they handle uh, the open ocean, seasickness. That's all part of the adventure. With the time, the greatest we'll be <laughs> Yeah, we didn't get very far, so uh, we'll try this again another time. On that note, good. Friday morning, and uh, tonight we have a little bon voyage dinner. Uh, the boat's still not ready. <laughs> and uh, Saturday we leave. They don't know where we're going. Uh, weather looks like uh, no wind and then too much wind. So classic sailing. So I heard that there was a little party going on the other day and that you guys actually were uh, consuming some uh, alcohol. Truth be told, I actually do drink. Yeah. Ah. Cotton jig is up. Cotton <laughs> jig is up. Were you Good concerned lady. for the... I was. Captain's <laughs> <laughs> cocktails all by myself for three months. That'd be very sad. Are you guys going... <laughs> Here officially, uh, ready to kick off. And I want to announce that tomorrow we sail. Oh, that's so soon. <laughs> 9 a.m. So all of this, like I'm not even sure. Do you want half the crab I don't think I can pick it up. Oh look how beautiful. Is this where we shot the first day? Yes! Yeah! Oh, that's so fun! Oh, wow, oh, wow. something's happening! No way. I'm so confused. What, what's happening? <laughs> I think there's a thing happening. Here, you protect me. I can hide behind you. <laughs> Next time on Sailing Cerebral. We're leaving tomorrow morning, 9 a.m and it became very real very quickly. This boat is going to be my reality for the next three months. I'm not entirely sure we can sail just yet. <laughs> what in the world are we doing for the next three months? The captain has jumped ship and we are going to have to find a way to sail by ourselves. This is going to turn into Gilligan's Island. What's the pirate's favorite letter? R. You think it'd be the R, but it's actually the C. <laughs> Pirate stuff.